Good morning everyone, my name is Akesh Kopta and I'm with Lightspeed Solutions. Today in this presentation I will share with you how easy it is to filter the drop-down list data. The use case that we're talking about is from time to time you basically have uh, your information, let's just log into an application, and you have drop-down data that basically has been made visible. So say for example we're trying to add an account and we have a data in a drop-down list that's coming from its respective data source or a lookup table. It all works great except sometimes when you have a use case where you would like to filter this data. And let's imagine our use case is we only want the filter to show lead or a prospect. I do not want it to show a customer yet because we have not yet made a customer. So whenever an account is added, we only want the system to be uh, able to allow only a lead or a prospect. So if that is the use case, what we would like to do is we would like to go to my add account page. Here's my account type ID. And if you look at the data sources, you will definitely see an account type ID query. So for each data field, there will, which, will, which is a drop-down list, which are, where the data is being fetched from its own data source, you will see a query. So the secret of filtering the drop-down list is to filter the query. Because at the end, the query is what's really fetching the data from its respective lookup table. So in this case, we can say, this was my query, account type ID query. I can click on edit. I can open up and I can add a WHERE clause. In this case, I'm saying the data is going to come from uh, account type, where account type field, because I would really like to say no customer, is not equal to, since I don't have a value, I want to type it in, I can type in a function, customer, for formula. So in reality, what I'm trying to say here is, you can get all the account types where the account type name is not equal to customer and of course we are left with only two at this present time and I click OK and click finish and that's about it so the secret of filtering a drop-down list is to filter its respective query because that is the source of its data that is kind of the gist of this video presentation so let's go back go back to the my account of course we have to probably log back in just a couple of old videos uh, presentation I had opened up these uh, other URL pages I just closed them all out so let's log in and I'm just going to now click on add and look at account type and of course I do not have a customer and as expected since we put a filter clause do not show customer customer was not shown at the drop down list so I hope that uh, this clearly explains to you how easy it is to filter the drop-down list data. Hope you enjoyed the video and keep watching for more. Thanks.